Donald, hello. How are you? All right, let me just share the stream over on the Discord server, and we're going to jump right into it. And we should be good to go. Fortnite? It's up, Tate. How's the finger doing? Tate just had finger surgery. You don't hear of that too often. Okay, part 14, Evil Tactician Run, Sorlak Dragonborn. Here we go. Greetings, Amis. Greetings. I see you too. Thanks, Korhal. I'll probably do some Starfield later this week, start up the Crimson Fleet quest. But for the most part, we're back to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm also working on a lot of build guide videos right now. So I have to play the game. So we're going to be playing a lot of BG3 over the next month or two. Yasmin, hello. May, hello. Happy, uh, what's today? Today's Monday or Tuesday? Today's Monday. I have a wild looking cast on my arm. Oh, really? I know that they cut open your hand, so you got like a whole... I didn't expect that. That's crazy. How difficult do you think it would be to do a tactician run without companions? Um, I don't think it would be impossible. No, definitely not impossible. Uh, challenging, yeah, for sure. You're probably going to have to use a lot of things that might be kind of annoying to get the job done. I might do a solo tactician run at some point. Just like naturally, like it doesn't sound that fun to me. Maybe it would be fun. But I don't know. We'll see. Definitely possible, not impossible. Okay, to the tavern. Let's jump right in. Where the hell's the tavern? There it is. Skull. I keep finding myself really hyped up for the Elder Scrolls 6. And I know it's years and years away. And Starfield didn't turn out to be the game that we all wanted it to turn out to be. Even if you like it. Because I generally... I like the game. I don't hate it. I'm still very, very excited for the Elder Scrolls 6. I just want to jump into all the lore and start making videos on it. Anybody else pumped up for the Elder Scrolls 6? Wild Mike, hello. Oh, uh, the knee is not getting better. <laughs> but I have an appointment on Wednesday, so hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. T. Marie, hello. Have you played this song with Bard in BG3? No, I haven't, Elf, no. Replicator, hello. Currently doing a no spell run. That's pretty cool. I like runs like that. That's that's a good idea. That's a cool. Are you running all? So you're not running any spellcasters, I'm assuming. All martial classes. What's up, Tardis? Sky Oblivion. Oh, you're part of the Sky Oblivion team. Well, thanks for the hard work. I'm excited for that game. I'm very excited. I should say mod, not game. Actually, it is. It's a game too. I'm excited for Sky Oblivion and also. Um, the Morrowind one as well. No scrolls, no magic, no spellcasters. That's cool. Okay, let's continue on with Act 2. So last run, if I remember correctly, we explored a lot of Moonrise Towers. And we also met Cethric Thorm's son. I forgot his name. And we drank beer with him. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm wondering if I should just recruit Minthara right now. We've already done everything I can do at Moonrise. Maybe it is. Maybe I should start the stream off by recruiting Minthara. Okay, we're going to do that. So how many spell slots do I have right now? I need to concentrate. I have plenty of spell slots. I don't have to do a full rest. Let's go ahead and go back to camp. This is going to take a little bit here because I have to dismiss my hireling. Take all of his stuff off of him <laughs> and then recruit Minthara. So if you are watching the stream after the live stream is over, I'll put a chapter marker down there for you. All right. How about that? Volk, hello. What's up, man? Just started a Sorlock? Nice. 
Nice. I'm only level 7 right now, but uh, the Sorlock's going pretty good so far. I'm going to have to do some tests in the future. We're going to have to try out Magic Initiate and then compare it to the actual Sorlock multi-class. Because Magic Initiate might even be better. I don't know. Either way, you're kind of... It's a Sorlock either build. All right, let's go ahead and get my orc naked here. I'm going to send all of this to... Let's see, who has the latest inventory? Oh my god, I should have done some inventory management. This is bad. Let's go ahead and send... I'm going to send that to camp. Send that to Leon. I'm getting my characters mixed up here. And we'll send everything to Shadowheart. So let's do control. Oh, you can't control click on gear that you have actually equipped. So let's go send that to Shadow. Send to Shadow. Send to Shadow. Send to Shadow. Send to Shadow. And send to Shadow. And then I'm going to take all this good stuff right here and send it to Shadow. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. And let's go ahead and dismiss the orc. I don't know if you talk to the hireling themselves or if you have to go talk to Withers. I'm not sure. You met Night Song and you had a difficult... Yeah, the Night Song. Whoo! That is a crazy, crazy quest. One Fate of the best quests in the game. Spins along. Dost thou require a new ally? This vessel is at thy disposal. <laughs> I like his outfit. Do what thou w art thou certain? Interesting. I can return it to the fugue plane. Did Larian change the hirelings up a little bit? A single mortal soul. Did Larian make it to where you can only have one hireling hanging out at your camp? I think they might have done that in one of the updates. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Because I only I only had the option right there to return Kurs to the fugue plane as opposed to having him hang out at the camp. I wonder if it's because people were exploiting it. And they would have like a bunch of hirelings at camp. All of them have like warding bond active on their character. So, you fuck okay to talk about the full game like characters i mean probably maybe stay ahead. away from act three spoiler i don't know I, maybe i wouldn't get too deep into act three spoilers in the chat right now because some people are still watching for the first time but These boots have anything seen outside everything. of that i think you're good to talk about Once I make it to Act 3, then we can start talking about Act 3 stuff. You wish to consult me? I'd like you to join me. Actually, let's, let's ask her some questions here. Do you remember all that you did in the Absolute's name? I was the Absolute's dagger. I remember every throat that it held me to, and every drop of blood it forced me to spill. I take no responsibility for the lives I took. I did nothing in the Absolute's name. I was merely a weapon that it wielded. I'm pretty sure that her armor is light armor. Am I wrong in saying? We're going to find out here really shortly. I remember the grove. You seem to enjoy taking all those lives. That bow. The absolute. They work together like a drug. I did not feel I was compelled to act against my will. I felt ecstatic to serve. Every action seemed a deliberate choice. The best choice. Even though I could no more have resisted its commands than flesh can Oliver. resist decay. Even rational minds like ours cannot reject such a powerful influence. The absolute can make the impossible seem inevitable. Is Catherick truly invulnerable? I fought at his side. Shortly after my conversion, before the battle, he was everything a general should be. A charismatic leader with a brilliant strategic mind. And when the fighting began, he led his troops from the front and cut through the enemy like a scythe through stalks. Blows and arrows rained down on him, and before long, his face was a mask of blood. But he did not fall. He did not even falter. 
when we won the day. Ketherick's armor was bent and shattered, but his flesh was unmarked. We're getting some good Ketherick Thorm lore here. And how is that possible, Benthara? I have lived long enough to know that few things are impossible in this world. Oh, Catherick's power is a rare thing, though. I have never seen its like. The necromancer Balthazar is Catherick's chief advisor. One who has mastery over the dead may well be able to help the living cheated. He is usually in his laboratory. <laughs> elbow deep in awful or clinging to his master's side if he left moonrise his mission must be urgent we should ransack his chambers and see what secrets he keeps for the great general already did that we're actually getting a lot of minthara dialogue i wonder if this was in the game before the recent update because minthara was missing a lot of content so far we're off to a good start i mean this is just the beginning of our companionship but you're a paladin. What's the nature of your oath? I took up my oath long ago when I swore bloody vengeance against any who defied Loth. Now I myself have sinned against the Spider Queen. Though my faith is shattered, my oath endures. I am sworn to destroy all those who serve the Absolute. It's so funny because I brought Minthara into my group thinking that I was going to have an evil companion by my side who wanted to serve the Absolute with me. Minthara turned out to be someone who hates the Absolute. See ya, Shannon. Basically nothing after it. Oh, okay. So that's where everything was. Your crusade against the Absolute is nothing more than a convenient excuse for bloodshed. Do you think me a fool? If it were blood I wanted... I would choose easier victims rather than challenging gods and cosmic aberrations. Abandon your preconceptions of who I am and why I act. And know this. My fight against the cult is righteous. We okay. are all that stands between this world and annihilation. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about our companions. A disparate collection of vagabonds and strays. Did you have anyone particular in mind? I'm curious to hear what you think of Shadowheart. It would have been better for us had she embraced Shah and claimed the power of the goddess. But it is better for Shadowheart to be free of that poisonous influence. I think that dialogue's a little broken. Shadow hasn't had the opportunity. Uh, uh, that might be broken. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, what do you have against Shar? The Night Singer has some admirable qualities. Far more than her insipid sister. So but her followers are repressed. Take the child, Shadow Heart. She does not even know who she is, but still manages to pity herself. The very concept of Sharon worship is self-indulgent. They would have you think every whispered word and hidden thought is hey, of value, well. but it is not so. I have performed a thousand interrogations, squeezing out the most guarded secrets held in heart, mind, and soul. I can tell you this. When the trivial parts have been whittled away and I have sifted through what remains, in most cases, a person amounts to nothing at all. Getting a lot of a lot of dialogue here. I agree, even with the things that might be broken in this game, easily game of the year. When you compare it to other games, easily game of the bear. Her voice is so lovely, you love her voice, Amy's. You know, I didn't like her voice the first time I heard her. But I've come around, I like it now, it's interesting. Meeting with Monday Night Football. What do you make of Astarion? He's been deprived of freedom and strong blood for so long that he is addicted to both. Mm -hmm. While those addictions have their hold on him, he is still a slave. Are you worried that he'll drink your blood? <laughs> no. He is well aware that I would exsanguinate him entirely <laughs> if he flashed his fangs at me. What a word. Astarion's no slave. He's free of Cazador. <laughs> free. 
What purpose does he have that does not involve his master? He fears him, he hates him, he dreams of him, and he will either kill him or die trying. Mm -hmm. Astarian is no more free of Kazador than you or I are free of our tadpoles. Okay, all right. He will only be free when Kazador is dead. And that is as it should be. Can't wait to get to Kazador's mansion. Comes, we must hope that he does not only take Kazador's long life, but the power that has sustained him as well. I'd like you to join me. Good. I do not like to stand idle. <laughs> Chain smoking drow. <laughs> okay, let's welcome Minthara into our party with open arms here. And let's see what she's got first, gear wise. Yeah, she is wearing light armor. It's kind of funny. It's funny to see a Vengeance Paladin wearing light armor. Gain a plus one bonus to stealth checks, advantage on constitution saving throw checks. It's actually kind of, that's actually nice though, having advantage on constitution saving throws. It's almost like having the Warcaster fee. That's actually really nice. But uh, it sucks that it's light armor. If it wasn't light armor, it probably, probably would be OP. Let's go ahead and transfer all of this over to Minthara. And let's go ahead and throw on the Oath Armor of Devotion. Oh yeah, Minthara's looking like Bay right now. She's looking like Bay. Put on the Helmet of Smiting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What else do I have here? Th when the wearer deals thunder damage, lightning damage, radiant damage, inflict two turns of reverberation. We're gonna give that back to Shadow. Using the Githyanki Longsword. Oh yeah, you know what also, Minthara was also being held captive, so... I wonder if she had more stuff that was hidden at Moonrise Towers. We'll give her a crossbow. Let's give her... I could do her one-handed with a shield, because I don't really have a tank in my group. Might not be a bad idea, actually. We could put on the... Falar Aluv. I love this sword. But then again, we're a Vengeance Pally. Pally. You know what I mean? I almost said Pally. Hunter's Mark. Divine Smite, dish out as much damage as we possibly can. And we'll put on this while concentrating on a spell. Weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage. Okay. Resistance to slashing damage. And I think we're probably good right now. What does Shadow have on? After shoving an enemy, the wearer gains a plus 1 to their armor class. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminating by swords, let's give this to Anthara. And I'll give the concentration one to Shadowheart. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and level her up. Let me create a save point here. We never have to do that again. Minthara level... Uh, she might not even be level 1, but I'm just going to say level 1. She is currently... Oh, she is level 1. Nice. That's nice. Hey, Pablo, what's up? Uh, I decapitated Karlak. I don't think I know what happened to Will. I attacked the grove. Maybe I killed Will. And I also ignored Gale when he was stuck in the rock. So Gale is currently dead too, I believe. Dex Pally... I think I'm going to go Strength Pally. I mean, what do we got from Inthara right now? She's 17. I could respec her. I kind of like her stats right now. We'll stick with Strength Pally. And we're going to go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Great weapon fighting is... It's like right when you see it, you want to take it. But I really... I think that taking defense actually will give you more of a benefit than the great weapon fighting where you get to reroll a 1 or a 2 on damage die. It's going to increase your damage by a little bit, but honestly, I think the, the plus one to AC is probably going to benefit your character a lot more. So I'm going to go with defense. And we got Abjure Enemy and Vow of Enmity. We get Fairy Fire. Nice. Prepare spells. Let's just see what we want to take right now. Shield of Faith, maybe. Bless, maybe. Maybe I will run Bless with her. And we'll do Spirit Guardians with Shadow. Oh, 
Or heroism. I actually like heroism a lot. I think it's a pretty good spell. Just got to the city. Nice. Enjoy. Take your time. There's so much content there. It's crazy. All right. And then for level four, let's go ahead and boost our ability scores. And then I might take Great Weapon Master. Actually, I'm probably going to take Great Weapon Master when we reach level eight, which should be sometime soon. But for now, let's go ahead and get 18 and 16. Larian actually... That's actually not bad stats. Minthar is one of the better... Distributed ability scores than some of the other companions. Although, Constitution's 13. Never mind, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go see Withers. If you insist... I don't like that 13 in con. I take it back. On my first run, I left all of my companions with all of their ability scores the way that Larian had assigned them. I kind of liked it. It was like none of them are perfect. And, you know, when you have companions join your group, none of them are going to be perfect. IRL, right? People are going to have deficiencies. So I left that on my first run. Do we have a target? But now that we're on our second run, we're save scum and we're doing all sorts of things. I don't really care. All right. Starion right here. Where the hell's Withers? Resilient con. The Paladin already gets... Doesn't the Paladin already have Constitution saving throws? So Resilient wouldn't be that good, if that's true. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my service. As... Okay. Simple weapons, martial weapons, light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, athletics, history, perception. So let's go Paladin. We're going to go Oath of the Vengeance. Inquisitor's Might. You are an ally's weapon attacks deal an additional two radiant damage. You can daze enemies. Costs an oath charge bonus action. Ability scores. Let's go ahead and go with... I think I'm good with the 15-17 start here. So let's do plus two. And then we'll do plus one in con. Dump everything while we work here. I hate how you have to click it and then click again. 17, 15, I like that. Dexterity, 10. Wisdom, Charisma, 14. Um, not bad. Not too shabby. Do I want to go 16 Charisma, though? Or do I want to go 16 Constitution when I level up? That's what I got to think about right now. We're going to go con 14. Yeah, we're going to do Charisma Fit. We're going to focus on damage over Constitution. All right, so 17, 10, 14, 8, 15, 10. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Beautiful. Why strength? Because I'm going to be using a heavy weapon, two-handed heavy weapon. Oath of the Ancients. Minthara has an Oath of the Ancients. <laughs> but for the Underdark, that's kind of funny. Then we're going to go Defense. Let me just prepare a couple spells here. Let's do Heroism. Actually, if I'm doing Great Weapon Master, we might as well get used to using Bless. Command. Pack to the Blade. You know... Paladin Pact of the Blade multi-class is pretty, pretty sick. But I have to think about it more. So I don't want to do it right now. But I do plan on doing a multi-class Paladin and Pact of the Blade at some point. And then you can actually dump strength. You can go all out into Charisma. Ooh, that sounds good. I got to think about it and plan it out a little bit better, though. And I can't do that when I'm live. But yeah, that's a, that's a really good multi-class combination. For anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, the Pact of the Blade Warlock at level 3. You can use your Charisma modifier for your melee attacks as opposed to Strength. And therefore, you can basically... I don't know if you'd want to dump Strength, but you don't have to have a high Strength or Dexterity. Charisma is your main ability for spellcasting and martial attacks, which is really powerful. Because one of the downsides of playing 
martial classes that are mixed with spell casting is that you don't know what to focus on. Do I focus on strength for my weapon attacks or do I focus on charisma for my spell casting? But when you take Pact of the Blade, that takes the strength out of the equation. I'm going to do a build on that in the near future. Um, but for now, let's just keep it simple. All right, and then we're looking good. All right. All right, we're gonna do ability improvement. We're gonna go 18 and 16, perfect. I started testing out earlier today a dual dual hand crossbow build with Gloomstalker and Thief multi-class. It's pretty sick. So many smites in this game, but Divine Smite is where it's at, you know what I mean? Dual hand cross was insane. Yeah, it is. I was testing it, I was testing it out earlier with the sharpshooter feet. Think about that. Sharpshooter is like the range version of Great Weapon Master. What's up, Angie? So you get a plus 10 damage. A solid 10, not a 1d10. You get a plus 10 damage to every ranged attack that you make that successfully lands at the cost of a minus 5 penalty to your attack rolls. With that said, as a ranged character, you're going to be typically on high ground, which gives you a plus 2, which offsets that minus 5 a little bit. And if you take a shot with your hand crossbow, you get plus 10. Extra attack, plus 10. Two bonus actions with the thief, plus 10, plus 10. Absolutely insane. Hamhawk, what's up, man? Sharpshooter plus Risky Ring. What does the Risky Ring do? I try not to do builds around items because I don't want players to feel like they have to go get a certain item and have to have some certain outcome happen in the story without... I don't want them to feel like they're missing out on that if they don't get a certain item. So I try to do builds that aren't based off of items. A build that will work and let the player play the game and whatever happens, happens. Um... But I gotta look up the Risky Ring. Sounds pretty badass. Alright. 10, we're looking pretty good here. Solo Gloomstalker Assassin? Nice. That's awesome. I am listening. Okay, let's head back out. I think we're good to go here. I just don't want to do like a build and then players feel like they have to go kill like a certain character to get a certain item, otherwise they're missing out and the build doesn't work. I try not to base builds around items. I feel like that takes away from, like, the main reason that people play these games, the RP aspect behind it. All right, we don't have to do a full rest. We can just do a partial rest. Um, yeah, we're good. This is the Armor of Devotion. Buy it from a vendor. Oh, what just happened? Must be on my way. Why is my Dragonborn just naked standing in the corner over here? With his Moon Lantern. Act of the Blade, dump strength now, get dex and wisdom, hold person. When you get the 21 strength potion, easy peasy. It's pretty badass, man. Do the fun OP builds, who cares, be different. Actually, I am being different by not basing my builds on items. Most most build guides tell people to go certain places and pick up certain items. Oh, why'd we go into turn-based mode? Hellfire cam crossbow? Yeah, I have that on my other run. Oh man, are we in combat here? Shouldn't be. 
If it is for the best. All right, let's, let's go ahead and cast aid. How's Minthara looking? I think we're looking pretty good. Keep your distance, darling. Problem is the Shadow Curse land. I need the Pixie's blessing. Let me let's fast travel to the last light in real fast. See if I can find this one item. I love the music at the last light in. I don't remember where this is though. Have a little look around. Some items transform a character. It's true. True. Risky Ring is in Moonrise Towers. Oh, interesting. I was just there. What are the stats on it? What does it do? One of my friends is like that. He looks up everything and follows guides. I think it's boring, restrictive way to play. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you, Pris. I'd rather not, like, be following... At least on my first playthrough, I'd rather not be following... Trust no one. Um, a guide that's telling me that I need to get certain items from certain places and I need certain outcomes to, to occur for me to get those items. But each to their own, you know? Whatever whatever way people enjoy it is the way they enjoy it. I knew there was... Isn't there a bridge over here? Like I haven't been back here. Let's take a look over here real fast. Got the docks at last light. Advantage on attack and disadvantage on saves. Whoa, that is overpowered. Holy crap. I'm never taking off my state trooper hat. Never. I must protect the roads of Baldur's Gate against those who feel like they can speed. <laughs> that might be worth it. Royalty squad? Never heard of such a thing, Angie. I don't think I've ever been up here before. Oh yeah, I know where I'm at. Victims of the Shadow Curse. At least they were afforded a burial. Can't wait to make it to the lower city. So many buildings I didn't go through on my first run. So many characters I didn't talk. I can't wait to go to the Elf Song Tavern and just talk to every NPC in there. actually don't need the moonrise or the moon lantern in this area but honestly i don't know where the pixie i can't remember where i found the the pixie jar or the pixie lantern hold on let me just take another look right over here the only thing i remember from my first run is that i was in this area when i discovered that you could look into it that's all i remember i don't remember where i got it from though but that's okay dt hello how are you Shy Violence. Oh, the pix- Oh! Oh, you're right! I think I have the pixie, right? Is it in the Moon Lantern? Hold on. Is it the same Moon Lantern? Paul, thank you so much for gifting five 
channel memberships. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Super generous of you. Um, I don't think I have the right Moon Lantern. I think it might be... Versatile, boom, in both hands. Each for best lanterns get it done. What if you can just, like, smash it on the ground? I have the sentient amulet. I got this one from, um, from Moonrise Towers. I didn't get it from the actual Drider. Okay, let's go back to that one area and let's continue on. Um, we'll go to Moonrise Towers. Gotta go to the spider dude. Yeah, I don't even know where that dude is right now, so that's okay. It's only the Drider one. I don't even remember like how I figured that out on my first run. Like what made me want to inspect it. I think I just saw, I think there's just like a little thing on your hot bar. Okay, so this is the room where we had the drinking contest with our with our friend. Oh, the problem is the moon. Oh, I was just trying to set up for combat, but the problem is the shadow curse. makes it difficult to set up. Make another lantern in the tower that can summon a shade to fight with you. That's pretty cool. I was going to try to... Okay, here we go. I was going to try to pull all these characters over to the house over there so I had high ground, but it makes it quite difficult when you have the shadow curse. All right, here we go. Let's see, I'll come over here. Wonder if shades can fall on grease. I thought you were leaving, Shannon. Oh, you're back. Okay. The Luna's blessing. Where are they going?
Muted? I'm not muted. What are you guys talking about? You guys must have muted your phone. Just about to have a nice friendly chat with Black. <laughs> You're in the Gith Yankee crash? Nice. Enjoy. Guys, maybe I muted myself intentionally. You ever think about that? Maybe I was saying something that you guys aren't supposed to hear. Can I have my privacy? For Christ's sake. I think I'm going to have to multi-class with Starion. Straight up rogue is just feeling kind of weak right now. Or I'm going to have to dual... Hand crossbow, Astarion. Let's have a little fun. Privacy, what's that? Is whispering sweet nothings to Mandara. What live streaming is all about privacy? Exactly, Tardis. Thank you for sticking up for me. I appreciate that, man. Really do. All right. Um, I was hoping that these guys would actually attack me. I guess we're going to have to move the entire crew up a little bit. So let's go to the edge of the bubble. Or I'll just run right up there right now. I wanted to use heroism. It's been a long time. I actually like heroism a lot. Let me use it again. Hopefully I don't lose my concentration. You get that five temporary hit points every round of combat. It's kind of nice. It's like a permanent minus five decrease to incoming damage. You got to hold your concentration, though. There we go. Bug might. Hello. I don't think I need to waste anything right now. I'm doing okay. Sounds like the grudge. Not sure why that was turned off. See how good Spirit Guardians is, especially in the Shadow Curse lands. Even better. Alright, let's move up a little bit. Love using, using Elder's Blast as a sorcerer. Makes me happy. Seriously, Astarion? Are you kidding me right now? A 
Necrotic resistance nullified. Probably shouldn't do that. Use the daylight spell. Let's see, what's there? Ethereal sunlight weakness. You are correct. Yeah, that is a fantastic spell to use then. While in sunlight, this creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Uh oh, what I- what? I didn't mean to click that. Okay, well, Nanthara will hold up the, uh, the rear back here. Or I could just Misty Step, actually. Let's do that. Nope, that guy's almost dead. You know what? I am gonna Misty Step. Just so I can get close enough. To do my weapon attack. How about that? Only one enemy left. Shadowheart has the daylight spell. I think that's it. I remember using the daylight spell against the vampires in Baldur's Gate. The radius is insane. Especially if you put it on like an item or something like that. Maybe I'll do that in a second actually. The problem is you can't hide when you have it active on your character. It's a lot harder. All right, we are. We don't need to really do anything here. I'm looking pretty good. Let's just do a. Actually, I'm gonna move up. Sorry about that, Minthara. You'll be fine. would not renounce Saluna. Now they hang in the town square. You see a man drain his tankard in an inn as he listens to a flaming fist play the lute. He's better than his uniform might suggest. You catch a glimpse of the lute playing flaming fist. It's the catatonic man you encountered in Last Light Inn. I love these little shadow vestiges. Super cool. Good writing behind them too. Sneak, sneaking armor. around with the Lathander Mace, yeah. I think the Lathander Mace is the only mace that actually lights up the area. The Ever Burning Blade doesn't. Remember a lot of people were telling people to not sneak with that one? I don't think that one does anything with the light. But you're right, the Lathander Mace does. Part of the weapon property. We're going to go do the, um, before we go into the Gauntlet of Shara, which probably won't be tonight, I want to go do the medical facility. That's what I was excited for tonight, so let's go head towards the House of Healing, and we'll come back for the Gauntlet of Shar. Um, actually, this is, yeah, this is the secret room. I remember that room on my first run. I remember there being a ton of magical items in this graveyard. This reminds me of Act 2 and Divinity the Original Sin 2. In memory of 
of Reuven Corley, who lived stoically and died without complaint. The House of Healing? Me too. Behold the mortal remains of Marvy Bullows, town crier, died loudly. Here rots Tristan Brumwilt. Philander and wicked excuse for a husband. May the crows use this marker as a privy. Never a dull moment. Mm. What's that? True loves Karis. One of the magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to receive warding bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. Seems simple enough. I don't think I ever found the other ring. Troll leader. His tall tales shall be greatly missed. Did you guys ever find the other warding bond ring? Because I don't think I ever found it. What now? With pleasure. You found both? House of Healing was the first place I TPK'd. I remember that being a pretty, pretty crazy fight for myself as well. You never did, Tardis. You found the Warding Bond ring? but well, there's two rings, Scott. Did you find them both? Or did you find a ring that just gives you Warding Bond, you're saying? Boots of apparent death. These boots allow the wearer to cast a feign death once per short rest. The moment is nigh. War has been brewing, and now it overflows. When Cuthric turned us toward Shar, I followed him in appearance, if not in heart. This is my home, and I would not be removed from it, no matter what. I watched at a distance as the darkness here grew, as Cuthric's grief brought him farther and farther from life itself. As he gathered his army, I prayed for his defeat. As the Harpers march upon our little village, our little beautiful village, I can only hope Cuthric will be felled at last, and Rythwin can begin to heal from this nightmare. You're sleeping, Ellie? What the hell are you sleeping for? Still breathing. Now's not the time for sleep. Everything. You freed the piss pixie bug? Nice. Oh, it's, it's so nice. Make sure you look further into what the pixie does if you haven't figured it out. So nice to not need a moon lantern when you're running around. Ready. Yeah, so whoever asked earlier about Saluna's blessing, it only protects against the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, so the the area before the area that we're in right now. Here rests Callista Freeclaw, legendary brawler. Died in his sleep to the surprise of many. The best smith in Rythwin, our swords will never slice as true. I wonder if that's bugged. Or if Larian just didn't finish it. Alright, we don't want to go to the Mason's Guild right now. I have a lot on my mind and well, in it. I need to find a way forward. The Ice Bite Robe gives you Armor of Agathus. Not too bad. You have nothing else on. I have the Graceful Cloth. You gain Cat's Grace and increase your Dexterity score by 2. Um, My Dex is 16. Hold on. I'm not getting any... Oh, actually... No, I'm better off using this for sure. I wonder if you can... Hold on, let's try this real fast. Let's cast Armor of Agathus. It's a spell that I already have with my Warlock, but I'm curious right now. So we have Armor of Agathus active right now. 5 temp HP. If hit with a melee attack, the attacker takes 15 cold damage. Now let's go ahead and put on the Graceful Cloth. Nope, it doesn't work. See? Larian fixed that from early access. Only works with certain, certain abilities and spells. But not all of them. 
dress up as the doctor and have the sisters perform the love of Shara on each other with scalp moles. I don't know if that's my idea of fun. But yeah, sign me up. Of Warwick Marsh, dearly missed by both of his wives. Here rests Violet, Shy Violet, beloved singer. May her voice live on in our memories. The hell, Shy, you never told us that. All these dark sisters slain in battle. They must have a stronghold nearby or a temple. Dedicated to Hugo Hobbs, cobbler. Hobbs the cobs to his friends. I think we're close to a fast travel point. I wonder if Raphael, Raphael, he is here. Oh, here we go. Our He's hero feel, thought up? but a treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark, he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. And how long have you been standing around practicing that little recital? Until it was perfect. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. I can handle myself, Raphael. <laughs> Intrepid as ever. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can... set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. This cut to the chase. I already did. If through the dark you go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Spell it out. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. I think we're gonna have to make a deal with Raphael on this run. You're still only telling me half of what you really know, I can tell. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. Let's leave it at that. There's a really cool place to solve Raphael's quest. Does it have to do with the singing? I always knew you're a coward at heart, Raphael. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait, before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious <laughs> business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning? Or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details. And I will. Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished hmm. and sent back to the hells. Okay, well that leaves us no choice. Astarion's our friend on this run. I feel like I'm going to have to do that so we can get Raphael to decipher what's on the back of Astarion. 
What are you talking about, Astarion? What scars? You haven't told them. And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. <laughs> How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. <sighs> God damn it. Sorry, on butt cheeks. Don't pout, Spawn. Just destroy the beast. And I'll happily reveal your secrets instead of your skin. Raphael just... Yes, fine. We'll kill this damn creature of yours. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Okay. Well, now you know. Put some clothes on, Astaria. You guys ever pants your friends when you were younger? I remember one of my friends was working out at the gym and he was hanging from the pull-up bar in the middle of the gym. Crowded day, too. You guys know how lit up gyms are. They have all that special lighting to make it look like you're more jacked than you actually are. Hanging in front of the pull-up bar, most populated part of the gym in front of a gigantic mirror. <laughs> I remember I came up and just pulled his pants down and it pulled his boxers down, too. Oh, God, good times. Okay. Gods, the carvings must have been excruciating. Cazador worked on it from dusk until dawn. All with an ancient blade he called his needle. <laughs> Cutting and tearing. <laughs> nice start. Starting over if I screamed or winced too much. It was a rough night. But what's done is done. So how about we stop discussing it and just kill this beast? Although I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> No one stopped me yet. Freaking cool, man. All right, we're going to go to that house of healing, but I do want to just walk in here first. Oh, I got to get the fast travel point. Forgot about that. Let's go get the fast travel point. I think it's up here, if I remember correctly. You know what's cool is I've had a shovel this entire run. Any of you guys watch my Let's Play series? It took me until like episode like 14 to have a shovel. And some people were calling me Wolfheart the Shovelless. And I kind of like that title and I might embrace it. Hemlock, thanks for the $5 super chat. I regret lurking for the past few years. I'm such a noob at BG3. <laughs> That's funny, Hem. That's okay, man. You're new to all that and uh, it's quite confusing. If you haven't played D and D before, especially if you haven't played if you haven't played D and D before, and you're not a CRPG player, which makes up a pretty big portion of the fan base for Baldur's Gate three because so many new players were brought into the genre, this shit's pretty damn complicated. Still alive, so that's progress. And with that said, it's actually fairly simple compared to some of the other CRPGs out there. But there's nothing easy to understand about this if you've never played this genre before and you've never played D&D. &D. Okay, so there's the House of Healing. I just want to go inside the mausoleum first, and then we're going to go do the doctor scene. Leads you to kind of confusing on the first run, and then it becomes mega easy on the second. Yeah, a lot of it's just knowledge-based and understanding the systems. Um, and it's not even, I mean, there is skill and strategy and tactics, of course, and that comes with knowledge. But, like, generally speaking, playing this game as someone who doesn't know, like, what attack rolls are and saving throws are, just having that knowledge, like, that, that book knowledge literally will change the game from tactician to easy. On normal. It'll feel like tactician to you. But if you have that knowledge of just the basic systems, it will feel, it will instantly change to easy mode. Just like knowing what spells to use too. Like that's half the battle too. Whoever you are, leave. I 
I shall carry out General Form's will alone. A mysterious voice at the mausoleum warned us to leave. If we wish to find Balthazar, we should press on. Engaging in dark rituals here. Tardis helped you. What a guy. Did play Pathfinder, hella complicated compared to 5e. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Pathfinder is whoo. If you're having a hard time understanding Baldur's Gate 3, go play Pathfinder. Shit, I covered that game for a little while and I studied the systems and I still don't remember pretty much anything. Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness, Balthazar is my own source of the barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. I will say though, once you play one CRPG, Let's um, every other CRPG is going to be a little bit easier for you <sighs> one day I'll catch after a that. Like if you guys go play Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, or you, even if you go play Pathfinder, even though it's extremely confusing, um, having knowledge from one CRPG tends to carry over at least a little bit into another CRPG. And it makes it a lot makes it a less overwhelming experience, I guess you could say. Hold on, let me come over here, and then we're gonna. Oh shit! What did I just do? My volume is too loud. Thought I was getting attacked right there. Failing survival checks. I have no short rests. We're gonna have to take a rest here soon. Pathfinder is your preference. A small note is squeezed under the margins of a tome detailing necromantic rites. General Thorm's orders were clear. In order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum, one must walk his own footsteps deed by deed. From splendor to tragedy to infamy, as he put. I bet that'll fit in my pack. Oh yeah, I should pull Scratch out. Seven temp HP after casting a spell while in melee. I mean, I guess I should put it on my... Wait, was this wieners just... Okay, for a minute I thought the, the genital filters wasn't working. I thought his thing was just hanging there. Must have been in the bottom of his tail. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't think I have Scratch on this run. I don't remember what I did with Scratch. Does anybody remember? That was a long, that was like a month ago that I was at that point in the game on this run. I don't know what I did with Scratch or the Owlbear Cub. I don't have them though. Ooh, we got another Diary of Cethric Thorn. Let's pick that up. Try to find them all and then read them all together. Cethric Thorn dishonored the very bones of his ancestors to make this totem to Merkel. Merkel. The Dead Three. Here lies Melodia Thorn, beloved wife and mother. A Armiel Tellere Manon here. All right, volume one. A journal spanning years, beginning with the birth of a child and ending with what appears to be a series of dateless tragedies. How can she be gone? Where did she go? 
The Moon Maiden cannot be so unfeeling, so cruel. The Moon Maiden is Saluna, twin sister of Shar. Not toward her most devoted servant. Not after Melodia. Hold on, I gotta reread that. Okay. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I won't survive it that much, I know. Forgetting is the only possibility. The embrace of oblivion. Reprave of nothingness. It would not be possible for a man to survive knowing what he knows, knowing what can be lost. Shar understands that. Hers is the only mercy I can comprehend. My mind is full of holes, yet not enough. The emptiness, the time, the nothingness, and still I remember. Still I remember it all. There's no mercy in this beating heart. There's no mercy in life at all. Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar is my own source of the barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. Melodia would understand if she knew my aim. She too, I believe, would have turned to Merkel under such conditions as these. Our darling will live again. What kind of man would I be if I didn't raise the world entire for her sake? Another step forward. Killing Scratch isn't simply evil, it's darkness incarnate. An open tomb. I've killed Scratch before, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Distance. Probably do perception. Traps. How considerate. Catherick Thorm, mourning for his daughter. Who knew he had it in him? And I love the backstory of these characters because there's so many evil characters in this game, but they all feel really real and relatable in a way. Because they all have very tragic pasts. Be careful. There are traps about. Oh, come on. Give me the... Oh, here we go. Moonrise Towers. Back before all... That... How cool would it be to see Moonrise right now, or after, or before, excuse me, before the Shadow Curse? What? You're unsubbing, Ellie? F5? Oh, okay, I should F5, you're right. You're, you're right. F5, okay, I'm done. Can I keep your sub, please? Oh, dear. Oh, nothing. Either the trap's broken, or someone's already disarmed it. I've actually never set that off before. That's actually pretty cool. On my first run, I, I navigated it. Kithric, at the head of an army of Shah worshippers. All right, let's go to let's go to the House of Hope. Oh dear! Someone's left a trap. We're gonna do the uh, Gauntlet of Shar and the Shar Temple next session I wanted to unlock it though so we'll come back there is no true evil nor is there true good or is there what about demons aren't they true evil Or are they? Okay, you guys ready for the House of Healing? This should be fun. Uh, we're gonna go in from the bottom. I went into the top last time. Just gonna walk right through the door. Patrick's definitely a great evil character. You can totally emphasize with his motivations. Don't agree with it, obviously, but you can see what would drive a man to it. Yeah, exactly. When it comes to your family, you know, especially your wife and your daughter. Things have stayed interesting. Here rests Violet Goldhammer. Shy, singer. shy again. Oh my God, shy. In our memories. We know, shy. We know. Stop telling us. I'm 
definitely never came in here before. Whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw to become poisoned. There's actually quite a lot of poison gear in this game. So I'm actually in the backside. I know where I'm at right now. I am in the... Yep. I wonder what happens if you walk in through this way. Would that set him hostile? I'm not sure. All right. Surgery and physiology. Asharan's primer. Every page of this medical text is crisp, unblemished, and every quill stroke precise. Sharan aphorisms and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained, so has Our Lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader. <sighs> the darkness is infinite, but the Master's teachings are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, there shall come a time for one final lesson. He will become the subject, fully laid bare, for his students to consult, examine, and dissect. The sisters shall one day know me. First in whole, last in part. Only then will they be masters. Listen to that background music. So good. Actually, let me let me do a manual save for this. I have to wait for the cloud save to be over. Malice Thor. Is the way you entered for your first playthrough that caused the TPK? <laughs> well, we might do a little save scumming here just because I want to experience a different outcome here. Um, there's some really cool outcomes from what I hear. Let's see how it goes. Objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. <laughs> Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. I can't watch Stop. stuff like this in movies. Stay I can in games, though. For it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. I do have to run to the bathroom, and I want to enjoy this scene, so I'll be right back, okay?
the whole process when you got a messed up knee. Okay, you guys still here? No? Okay. Uh, Shy, thanks for the $2 super chat. Almost missed it. Ethel and Act 3 sucked. Yeah, I heard a lot of people complain about that part of the game. You just sat back in your chair. Nice. Okay, alright, here we go. Uh, the knee's not doing too good, but I, gotta, I get to go to the doctors on Wednesday and try to figure out and get to the bottom of it, so... Unfortunately, I thought the recovery was going good, and then it took a downturn. It's unfortunate, but you know, it could be worse. It's just a knee. All right, so Malice Thorm said, come. Step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. A student, yes. Do please enlighten me. Absence. Meniscus tear. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. He's just like Castor. Oh. Utterly insane. See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Damn, we got no charisma checks here. Oh, we do. Persuasion. I kind of want to know what happens if you fail this, though. All right, we're going to try a few different things, okay? So be prepared right now. Leda, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. So sorry about your knee. Here's something for your doctor's visit. Thank you, Leda. Don't got to do that, but thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's go with persuasion first. The sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. Thanks, Leda. Use religion? All right, we'll, we'll come back and try that. Mel Storm's hat? Yeah, that does look pretty cool. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained, Malice Thorm. For the sisters to learn, you must submit. Nope, failed. Want to see the fight? I already did this fight on my other run. I did it like in a really bad situation too. Came down to like one HP. Yes. Submit I must into the lady's dark fingered embrace. I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. <laughs> Come, sisters, soothe me. Dude, this shit is nuts, man. He 
These are some religious fanaticals, that's for sure. This fight didn't have to fight him. Wait, I did this fight and didn't have to fight him or the ads. So what fight did you do? Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet. Once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Might be pretty good with like an assassin rogue. Actually, it'd be good with my build too because I have the executioner. Okay, let's save. And let's try the other outcome. I want to see the sisters battle with each other. And then we'll come back to this point and explore more. Or I'll keep him alive, I'm not sure. And the cloud saves take forever. I might as well turn that off. Not like I'm going to play on something else. He can do surgery on us too? Does that mean we die? We might have to try that one too. Wait, okay. Alice Thorne, there we go. Can have the sisters kill themselves. Yeah, we're going to try that. Wolf got lost on his way to Hogwarts. That's funny. All right. Well, thanks for uh, leaving the stream on, Robert. Good luck on your paper. I got the state trooper hat on. I guess it does look like a wizard's hat, too. Shadowheart definitely looks like a wizard. What wrong has this man done to deserve such torture? Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah Zov. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. He's it in life. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Okay, I think the religion one probably leads to the same as the persuasion run. Let's go persuasion again. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. You know what's funny? Is a lot of people will say that you have to have... Everybody should have a high charisma character as their main. So you can pass persuasion checks. I actually found the game more fun with my ranger who dumped charisma because the roles were a lot tougher. Now on this run, especially with inspiration points, I feel like there's no no like charisma roll that I won't pass, even if it takes me once or twice to do. But I actually prefer having a character with low charisma in Baldur's Gate 3. Leda, thank you for donation number two, ten dollars super chat. My favorite spell now that I think forever is Otto's irresistible dance. It's so hilarious to watch bosses dance. You know I haven't even used that one even one time. I'll use it, Leda, just for you, okay? I don't know if I have it right now, though. Do I have it on my... I don't know. Thank you, Leda. I appreciate that. The anxiety my ranger gave me on rolls, right? But that's fun. Like, this guy just kills every charisma roll in the game. Astarion kills every single lockpicking roll in the game. Doesn't ever fail. On my, on my run where I didn't have someone who could lockpick and I had a low charisma, I had to use spells like knock, which was fun. And I had to have some intense rolls. I actually like that better. All right, so let's go with for the sisters to learn. Nope. What? Nope. Yes. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? This one's a little tougher, but it's still not that. Well, okay. Did I speak too soon? It's still not that hard, though. Like, really, all I need is... 
like we have like a 60 something percent chance 70 percent chance of passing this oh my god seriously game you're gonna do that to me right now after that speech i just gave on low charisma characters come on let's go be surprised at how spectacular you can fail as a high charisma character in multiplayer that's funny I don't know. I'm. I pretty much. I don't think I failed any of the major roles on yes. this run. So that's just my but run. Are we not all in need of a cure? The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. <laughs> It is a proud moment when one sees one's teachings so lovingly hey, Lily, taken what's up? to heart. Whoa, this is way cooler. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark-fingered embrace. Ooh, this is way cooler than the first outcome that we had. I want to play Warlock, but I hate that the Archfiend and Great Old One are much weaker than the Fiend. I wouldn't worry about that. Nothing's balanced in Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Just have fun. Play whatever you want. All of them work fine. My magic has blinded me. I see now that Shar is the only path. Show me how, I beg of you. I wonder what happens if you do this with Shadowheart. I wonder what happens if you do this with Shadowheart after... The Night Song quest. Be interesting to try when Shadows of Dark just this year. Your diligence is exemplary. Very well. Your own scalpel you will be. Observe, then succeed me into the sucker. Of Shah. Okay. <laughs> it all turns out to be the same in the end. Okay, the patient is still alive. How do you get this guy's hat? Somebody said that earlier. Root beer? Root beer sounds delicious. Looks horrible. Is this ever gonna end? This shows you the fragility of the eyes. Now a storm just went like this. Doot. With his blades. Alright, unlock the restraints. Brother, come here! How's he running up the stairs without tripping? Seems like a good moment to talk. We'll let him run. Sometimes you gotta let the things you love go, you know what I'm saying? What's inside? Alright, let's do some searching here now, see if we can find any good items or any interesting lore. Sister Vanessa. Omnian Desert Wine, that's so cool. Well, the nation of Om is south of Baldur's Gate. It's the nation where Baldur's Gate 2 takes place. I love when Larian puts references like that into the game. What if I can use Speak with the Dead? No, these are undead. Just a flesh wound? Something good here, I hope.
Can't reach this. What am I, a gnome? Here's a little cool spot right here. If you guys end up getting into combat in this room, you can put like... The problem is if you don't have the Pixie's Blessing, you can't spread out your team, and that's the problem that I have right now. You can put one of your casters up here, or one of your ranged damage dealers. Nice. Scroll of Blights. Actually, nice to have a remove curse spell, but actually, I think I have it with Shadow Heart. Hmm. I almost forgot. Shadow Heart's a Tempest Cleric. We got to start using the lightning spells more and also using Create Water. It's like I've played Cleric, I've played Shadow Heart for so many hours. In early access and the full game when I change her subclass like it doesn't even come and doesn't even pop into my mind that I have like some differences with the Tempest Cleric I have too many habits no time to dally hello my dear Tempest Cleric yeah, like a lightning cleric of the wind of storms. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces. Disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer the cycle as life falls away. This is actually good lore. For countless eons, it was Jurgal. The lord of the end of everything presided over mortality with his unblinking stare until he grew weary. Young Baal, Bane, and Merkel must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Merkel claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain. But even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the most violent of deaths, seized by Baal and his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kelimvor to, pa to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Little dead three story there of Merkel giving up his throne to the dead three. Splitting it into three. Hey Raphael, what's up? Which character have you played as your origin? Um, are you asking if I've played an origin character yet? Because I have not. I have two custom characters right now. Arrow of Incarn Arcane Interference. Breaks target's concentration. That's awesome. Hemlock, thanks for the $2 super chat. Play with me and Tubit on stream one night? Yeah, I think we'll do that. That'd be fun. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yinogu. Now we're not going to read that. I'll save that for myself. All right, I think we can go back down now and we'll explore the rest of the hospital um, and go out this window right here. Let's do that. Let's check this. We have an eagle's nest right here. Thanks, Hem. Tempest Cleric, yeah. Uh, yeah, not yet, Raphael. I will do it at some point. Um, I wanted to do a good playthrough and an evil playthrough with custom characters first. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy right now. That's how I move the camera. Can't give up now. Carrying a hundred silencing arrows on you, nice.
Let's just check up here real fast. Somebody was camping out up here. It's kind of... Book of Poetry. We have a couple lovers right here. Yeah, I don't remember what I did with Scratch on this run. Kind of worried about him now. Well, that's one way to get down. Holy crap. Why do you do that? What's today? Kind of looks like Hogwarts here. is absent today. Come back another time. Keep a blade close. Fine. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages, demanding that healers turn away wounded harpers and selunites and reserve their tonics for wounded dark justiciers on the order of General Cuthric Thorum. I am very, very curious now. What would happen if we made Shadowheart a dark justicier and then came back here? Don't linger. To all Wraithwind House of Healing Medical Personnel, from Malice Thorm, Head Surgeon, it has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Anesthetic. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade, not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So hath saith Shar, only in the infirm suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Looking ahead. The doctors found oblivion. Well, no time to mourn. I'll fix this without him. I see you have medical supplies on hand. Can you spare I'll any? I'll sell you what I can. Once I've stabilized the patient. And why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. I see now. They're sleeping peacefully. I think your work here is already done. Yes. Yes. I knew these hands would not fail me. Yeah, they 
love rings behind the, the receptionist. Is sure to recover. Now that that's sorted, might I purchase some supplies? Not much left now, but you're welcome. A trader. Look. That's hilarious. Sure, we'll buy that. Um, I don't need the weak ones. We'll buy these. Why not? Two thirty-one. I don't want to sell gear on this run because when I get to the end game, I want to have all the gear so I can look through it. I'm going to hold on to the magical items. Could throw the potions of sleep at enemies. I was just thinking about that. Now. These are abominations and they must die. Anything that screams like that, I am okay with you guys killing, that's for sure. Get to Baldur's Gate. An old map in druidic style of what appears to be hidden roots out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon. I know, Shadow. I know. Whoa! I love it. Down, down by the river. Nice and creepy in the house of healing. Oh, is my chat not updating or is no? Oh, there we go. Hold on. My bad, guys. The chat literally didn't update for like two minutes. See ya, Allie. Thanks, Angie. Have a good night. Yeah, I'm bringing this to my camp for sure. I wish you could just let it play while you're walking around, like, carry it on your shoulder. Oh, you can. Let's go. Very well. Hey, Chris, what's up? True lovers embrace. As Zyphiel said, one, a magical, one of a magical pair of rings, this allows the wearer to cast Warding Bond once per long rest on a creature wearing the matching ring. The one bet I didn't check in between. Okay, let's get out of here. I think I can take on this mob up here um, before I take my long rest. I wonder if there's going to be any Gith Yankee up here.
All right, we got Nogith Yankee chasing after us, which is good. Because we wiped out the crash. I don't know if that completely takes away that part of the game or what. Well, Wargaz failed to kill you. I won't make this This is a TPK. Hey, Mitch, what's up? Thanks, Jacob. This is a TPK, I can tell you guys right now. Not only am I two levels lower than these guys, I also just am not in good shape right now, health-wise and spell slots. Let's see what I got for scrolls. This is this is gonna be bad. Good thing I hit F5. My team's... My, my Warlock's already dead. My Sorlock. Are you serious? Oh, crap. Unbelievable. Wonder what would happen if I aggroed the group over here. You think they would fight the Gith Yankee? Yeah, this isn't going to happen. Let's um let's try to do that. Because realistically, I'm not going to win this fight. Not two levels down with two characters on Tactician. Not a chance in hell. So let's see if we can pull. Let's see if I can bring in the other group over here. Should be kind of cool to win the fight like that. Um, we do have them all grouped up here right now, which is kind of nice. And the shadow curse too. No, stay with you. Oh my god. I'll probably do modded runs before that, Raphael. I plan on messing around with mods fairly soon. Some cool looking mods out there. Don't really have any good scrolls. Thirty-four, one nineteen. 26 and we got these two guys down here that are going to jump up which is going to be a major major problem right. uh, we're going to hold that oh I, I i know what i i know what i can do i know what i can do um let me move shadow heart up a little bit i will take the artifact for my queen! Die. 
or not. Hey, thanks, Marco. Appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. I mean, this isn't completely over, but the odds are not in my favor. Just saw your Larian Studios visit today. A solid barbarian rage scream. Yeah, I might have went a little bit too loud, didn't I? All right, Minthara, let's see what you can do, my girl. Oh, man, these guys are just so tough. I think that was the right play. I absolutely think that was the right play. And then I'm also going to... We're going to speed the crap out of everybody here. Oh, I still get an opportunity attack? Oh, man, I can't reach. You got to be kidding me. Still getting familiar, still trying to familiarize myself with the Vengeance Paladin. Got to start using Hunter's Mark at the start of these encounters. All right, so we have fear. Let's see if I can command one of these guys too to do something else. 35% chance, 50% chance, 50% chance. Um... Thirty-five. need to do my sorcerer's turn again. God, that's so crazy. Aha, let's hit F5 right now. Oh, you can't increase the sot. You can add more hot bars by hitting the increase rows or decrease rows right next to the end turn button, bug my... Here we go. Let's go. 18, 18. Damn, man. It just, it's just tough because I came into this fight with 25% HP and no like high level spell slots. Otherwise, I would demolish these two with one lightning attack. It would be over. It would be lights out for these damn Gif Yankee. Lights out, I'm telling you right now. All right, what condition for two more turns? Let's go ahead and... Don't really have any good healing potions. Um, damn, Leon, you're about to die, aren't you? Wonder if I came over here. <sighs> this guy's frightened still, so we don't want to attack him. Um, let's see. I guess guiding bolt maybe. 36, 36, 36. Let me think for a second. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a real lot. Doesn't matter if he gets the helium, he's already got full HP. Can't stay idle.
48. Oh. Probably gonna pass their saving throw. It's a good thing I looked at that. You have a plus 10 bonus to your next saving throw. They're probably going to take half damage from fireballs. So that might not be the right play. So I think what we're going to do, maybe help out right here. I haven't done jack of trades, so I'm not sure. I mean, couldn't you just do jack of trades on like easy mode? Out of spell slots. Should have forced tunnel my way out of there. Need a potion of angelic slumber right now. That's what I need. So many potions. It's crazy. I might, I'm, I might start, I might be regretting aggro, aggroing that other group over there. If these guys fight each other, I'll be happy with that decision. But I actually might be able to take on the Gith Yankee. Even with the condition that I was in. It's not completely impossible yet. All right. One more turn of Frighten. Trying to take her out first. That's Move him way. up. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Okay. That's not good. Nope, that's not good. What is she doing? God, I love playing high strength characters. It's just insane, the movement speed that you have. It's crazy. Too many misses, man. Too many misses. They're not fighting each other. They're only going after Astarion? What the hell is this bullshit? I take it back. They're fighting each other, I think. I lost the order of turns up here. I don't know. Something's going on over here. You're a flying monk rogue. Nice. See ya, TARDIS. Thanks for hanging out. I don't know what happened to the game. We don't have... I think I broke the game by calling in two mobs. That's going to be a real bummer if I glitch out here. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have two veteran warriors right here. She's one shot. But she's over here fighting the shadow ones. I don't know if I even want to finish her off, to be quite honest with you. Let's go ahead and fly up here. Let's work on the lower HP target first, but actually I can't reach. So I'll go to this one. Oh no, they're running. Oh no, they're running right past to the get the Yankee. This isn't fair, man. This isn't fair at all. Gonna hit my own character. But that's okay. They're not fighting each other. That really sucks. I feel like that's I feel like that's an oversight on Larian's part. To have two mobs that close to each other and they get the Oki are not aligned with the shadow curse. To have these mobs not fight each other, it looked like she was going to attack one of them, but then she ended up not. Not doing that, so.
the opportunity attack. God, man. Yeah, these guys aren't fighting each other at all. Not even a little bit. Gith should be smart enough to suss that out, true. I mean, the fact that I made it this far in the combat encounter is like... Uh, this has been pretty good so far. I'm happy that I at least attempted this. I don't know if I'm going to pull it off, though. Not over yet. I still have revive scrolls. <clears throat> Stupid parry, man. I freaking hate it. Ah, oh, it sucks. not over yet my friends it's not over yet i have a plan i have a plan Everybody's just teaming up on my team. Bullshit, man. Look at Minthara being an absolute pro over there. I don't have any more invisibility. I used up my only ones, I feel. Um, but I am going to try to jump away in a second. I have an idea here. Watch this. Send Gal in and have him self-destruct. All right, so 
Oh man, for a minute I wasn't sure if flying away caused. Look at all the opportunity attacks if I were to fly away. Uh, with that said, I can disengage. And I think I'm going to do that because look at this. This is an absolutely insane situation that I'm in right now. So let's go ahead and disengage. And then... Oh, come on, Larry, and you gotta let me go up on those places. Should have taken it. I should have attacked first. I didn't realize I had... I should have finished off that one Gith Yankee or thrown like a bomb or something in the middle here, but that's okay. All right. Well, I'm pretty much completely hidden right now, I think, except my spirit guardians. God, Perry is just such a pain in the ass. All right. So let's see what happens now. Nope, they're just going right after Minthara. I think. Not sure. Yeah, you can always flee the battle, but I try not to use the flee mechanic too much. Oh, look at that. It's over. Minthara, what are you doing? No, what are you? Minthara! Shit. She was chained. Ah, oh, she was the damn chain. She was chained. Okay. 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 She was chained to Shadowheart and she came running back. All right, what do we got here? We got one, two, three. Damn, these guys are tough. Um, it looks like not everybody's in the battle though. It's just the Gith Yankees. This actually might be my chance to pull something off here. This might be my chance. You guys notice Shadowheart now has all of her spell slots back. All of them. All right, so hold on. Where did Astarion die? We can get Astarion back right now, I think. Without getting into combat. I'm going to try to do this without having to flee back to camp. Shit, the freaking shadow curse. And we have to deal with the shadow curse. How crazy is that? <laughs> Absolutely insane. I can survive the Shadow Curse. Um, the torches don't do it in this area. You gotta have the moon lantern. Um, I could transfer the moon lantern over to somebody else, though. I guess I could do that, right? 
<coughs> oh wait, am I in the bad? Am I am in the area where you can? No, I'm in the area where you need the moon lantern. I'm pretty sure. But maybe I could just transfer it from Wolf to Shadow. Oh, okay, I can. All right, well, thanks for giving me the idea, Shy. Hey, Lenny, what's up? May the dice roll in your favor, Wolf, and greetings to the Wolf Pack Skull. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks for stopping in. Cheers. I think we're going to pull this off. You guys just got to give me a second. Taking it nice and slow. Minthara has paused in combat, so we're okay. My face protects and actually... Alright, so let's do... Victims await. Oh, my sword's on the ground right there? Shit. I didn't even notice that. I really think I really broke the game doing all this. What the hell's going on? We all just starting to be a monk? Bitches. I have five into Sorcerer and two into Warlock right now with the Fiend subclass. Yes, it does, Philip. Come on, Bethara. Stay alive, my girl. Stay alive. Hey, Stiggy, 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 Stiggy. 
All right, I am disarmed. Um, I do have fly though. Go get my sword. I guess the only two-handed sword I have. I think it's worth it. Can I make it back? Nope, I can't. Um, okay, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and pop another potion. Could I could always dash though too. Pop a potion. And then... We'll dash and fly right back into the action, my friends. Focusing on this gift Yankee first. Oh, uh, I have to equip the sword. Damn it. It costs an action to equip it. I can't equip it right now. It's okay. I want my tank right there, so... What did I just do? Might be one of the craziest encounters I've ever been in. Hey, Harry, what's up? Ooh, Lathander's blood. Tough, tough stuff. Don't you dare send that clip to TARDIS, Shy. All right. Or I will summon TARDIS and have him temporary ban you. A lot of misses. No. Ooh. If a nearby enemy attacks, you can retaliate with a strike of lightning. 2 to 16 lightning damage. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, the Tempest Cleric is pretty damn awesome. I'm not gonna lie. That wasn't very nice. I cannot take much more of this. Our battle music glitched out. It's funny how I would have probably already won if I didn't aggro the other group. I thought the other group was gonna help me. That was like my my last hope. Little did I know, I probably could have just defeated the Gith Yankee without their help. All right, Minthara, you got one HP right now, so let's see what you can do. Oh, yeah, you're going to take out this Gith Yankee is what you're going to do. But actually, you don't have... That's not good. Okay, so what we can do here... I should equip my weapon. Um, all right, let's shoot with a Starion first. See ya! Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Absolutely beautiful. Ready for battle. Come back from anything. You can come back from anything in this game. There is not one situation that we can't come back from. By the Nine Divines. Okay. 
We got Morgoth Yankee still alive, though. Got to be careful about that. Disadvantage because of threatened. Why didn't I think of that? Silly me. Excuse me, dog. What what is up with the miss misses today? Like this is crazy. Okay, there we go. Still have a lot of movement left though. I could actually Oh man, this is this is what you call plays right now. Okay, the problem is this guy's gonna get an opportunity attack on me. You know what? Actually, I don't need to make the play because this guy is going to jump up here anyways, so. That's what I'm saying, Shy. I mean, if you asked me to bet a million dollars that I would wipe on this encounter, I would have said yes. I love spiritual weapon. Look at it over here, just pulling all the aggro. I mean, it's not over yet. We still have a lot of high HP targets. Um, yeah, I played Starfield. I almost beat the main campaign. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I plan on playing it again. I was hoping for more out of Bethesda um, or updated systems after, you know, the long time that's passed, but yeah, it's not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll keep playing it. Does that answer your question? Astarion got disarmed too? Holy crap. It's horrible with spiritual weapon in this game too, Ishiara. The movement is so little. But when you can cast it in an area where there's a lot of enemies, they tend to attack it. So it kept like all these shadow creatures away from my party for quite a while, which is nice. Alright, Minthara. I guess one at a time here, right? I'm just gonna hold my ground right next to Shadow Heart and we'll drink a minor potion. I've never seen spiritual weapon ever hit its attack, it's funny. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see Minthara in that. <laughs> I'm really putting some damage on Minthara, aren't I? Really unfortunate, treating her like shit. Damn, the Wraith has that much HP? Kind of frightening. One at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. It was such a great attack. The lightning reaction. Don't want to use that. Let's hit, let's whack her with the moon lantern. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I keep why do I keep hitting charm? They're immune to charm, aren't they? That one didn't say immune.
Let's try it again. So on one turn, it says tadpole saving throw and on another turn immune. Can't be shoved thrown. Oh, I forgot about the daylight spell. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. I don't know how I just pulled that off. But I'm damn proud of myself. That was actually a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get... What's next, I wonder? My Sorlock back up, who's been dead for like 30 minutes now. We'll this way. And also I'm level 8 too, so that's nice. We're going to have to go back to camp. So I'm going to go ahead and save the resurrection scroll and just use withers. Um, I do have the revivify scroll. I just don't have a level three spell slot. I don't think I have anything that will replenish that. Level two spell slot, level one spell slot, level three spell slot. Okay, never mind. Let's drink that and then let's prepare revivify. There we go, we have the crew back together. I did not do Shars Gauntlet yet. That'll be next stream. So next stream will probably be Shars Gauntlet. And also probably the night song. I mean it's all connected. I would imagine I'd be able to do that in one session. And then the session after that will be I guess Moonrise Towers. And then we'll be done with Act 2. There's a few things that I didn't do yet, like the Mason's Guild. But yeah, I think we only have like two more sessions, maybe three of Act 2. No short rests or anything. Damn Gith Yankee, they always disarm you. I don't even know where my weapons are. I'm going to save that. I might turn Astarion into a Gloomstalker thief. Well, what do you guys think about that? Hand crossbow, hand crossbow. Five thief, five rogue, two fighter. A thief is a rogue. Am I missing something? No, I'll probably go... Um, I'll probably go... Maybe... Seven thief and five Gloomstalker Ranger. That's probably what I'll do. Shall we? Is that blood? No, never mind.
If the item detects that the wearer is Gith, they have resistance to psychic damage. Whenever the wearer succeeds on a saving throw against a spell, they regain 1 to 4 hit points. Frackneer Bracers. You can cast Mage Hand as a bonus action, and you get Telekinesis. Nice. Some Gith Yankee lore here. Do what has been asked of you. Stop the interlopers. Take back what is mine, else your punishment will be severe by order of your queen. I like collecting those. All right, let's see here. Who do I want telekinesis on? What do I have on my Sorlock? You gain plus two to armor class as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. Um, That's pretty good for a draconic sorcerer, so I'm going to leave that. Shadowheart has the gloves of dexterity. Set the wearer's dexterity score to 18. This enchantment has no effect if their dexterity score is higher without it. Armor class increased by one in addition if you have Bardic Inspiration. Let's give him to Minthara. Sure. Why not? Give Minthara telekinesis. No time to rest. Ranger 4, Rogue 2, Fighter 6. Ranger 3, Rogue 3, Fighter 6. Holy donation. Mabra, thank you so much for the $100 super chat. Finally beat it to the tavern. Let's go to the tavern. Big congrats, Mabra, on your Baldur's Gate 3 victory. I love to hear it. And thank you so much for that gigantic donation. This is the best game I've ever played. Thank you. Thank you thanks your all of your hard work in the early access thanks maybar appreciate that donation man and congrats that's awesome great feeling right now you got to do it again like 10 more times it's so bad at the moment what are you what's bad Baldur's gate 3 Baldur's gate 3 is bad right now all right so let's see we have Oh, I only have no. I have I only have one level into Warlock right now. Let's do another level into Warlock, and let's go ahead and pick up Agonizing Blast, of course. And I'm gonna pick up Repelling Blast. I want to try a Devil Sight build at some point, but the Sorlock's not the build for that. At least not right now. And then we'll also take, let's see, Witch Bolt. Actually, it might be pretty good to have Witch Bolt when I'm running a Tempest Cleric in this party. Not going to lie, it might not be a bad idea to have that. Hellish Rebuke, Command, Charm Person. Hellish Rebuke might actually not be that bad when I'm multi-classing, and now that we actually have a proper reaction system, and I can deny it if I want to. Still working on my second playthrough as the Dark Urge. Nice. Thanks again, Mabra. I appreciate it. I already have three other single-player campaigns and two multiplayer. Nice. You love Hellish Rebuke? I don't know what to take here really don't need any of them. I honestly might take Hellish Rebuke just to have. And also it's going to... My Warlock spell slots are going to come back on a short rest. I'm taking Hellish Rebuke. Screw it. Screw it. Right? Why not? Who are you guys to tell me I can't take Hellish Rebuke? <sighs> I've been using Long Strider. I don't think I have... I don't... Do I have Long Strider? I don't have Long Strider on, on these characters. Careful, I mind. Don't confuse me with my... With my playthroughs okay i don't have long strider I have a lot on my mind and don't well, confuse me in it
You're making me think I'm playing a different run. <laughs> Alright, Astarion, let's see what you got, my man. Let's go ahead. I'm going to respec Astarion, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. We have 18 in decks. Um, let's just go ahead and do ability score improvement. Get to 20. Doss to inventories. <laughs> I hope that Larian Studios next game they have a better inventory management system. <laughs> Didn't really improve that much from DOS 2. Everybody has these crazy inventories that you can't really organize that well. Oh, I love Longstrider. Oh, you mean calling a hireling? Yeah. I guess I could do that. I don't know. It's a little bit cheesy. All right, Shadowheart, we have 18 Wisdom. I'm going to take Warcaster with her. This will give us advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration. Mm. And then Vengeance Pally, level 8. Minthara has 18 Strength. Um... Do I want Great Weapon Master right now? Team 4. Do I want Great Weapon Master when I'm not running a party that uses Bless? I could bless myself, though. Okay, let's do it. Oh, shit. No. No. I'm supposed to save before I level up. All right. Um, I'll do a manual save and just call it after level eight. Crafting inventory got better. All right. I think we got to go to camp. Um, I th did I think I looted everybody here? Let's pick up all of our swords and everything. Short Sword of the First Blood and Gith Yankee Short Sword. I think those were on Astarion. Is that what I was rocking with Astarion? Was I rocking dual short swords? You know what's interesting? You guys notice there's two long swords in this game that are finesse weapons. Totally unexpected. I thought it was a bug when I first saw it. Most long swords, 99.9% .9 of all long swords, are going to be strength weapons. Still not light weapons though, so dual wielding isn't possible unless you take the dual wielder feat. Never a dull moment. Now let me just scour the battlefield one more quick time. And just hold down the alt button and make sure I didn't lose any weapons or anything. The escalator. What's up, Saul? You as well. We go unlock this waypoint. What happens if you go to the city? Hold on. What happens if you go to the city without finishing Act 2? Is it even possible? Well, we're going to try. Oh, I think the Army of the Absolute is up here. Oh, oh my God. I don't know, press my luck. Dude, that is insane. That looks sick. That reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance for some reason. One of the final battles. The countless distant silhouettes leave you no doubt. A veritable army swarms the path ahead. You know, there's a point where bravery becomes stupidity. And walking into that would be very, very stupid. I'm not afraid. We need to press on. Well, this is quite the mess you've gotten us into. <laughs> what? We got so <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. 
I know exactly where we are just because I've already come down here. We are in the prison prison of Moonrise Towers. That's pretty funny. One step at a time. Wish there was a cutscene for it. You love Astarion? We are very, very stupid. True. Picked Will as my first playthrough. I'm pretty interested in Will myself. Especially with all the Raven Guard. Orders received. Thara's looking like a Gith Yankee. Oh yeah, I, that's why I have heavy armor on. Because I'm a Tempest Cleric right now. But actually... 16, that would bring me to 18. No, we're good with heavy armor on. It's risky to enter Moonrise with an unwelcome companion. You can pass as a true soul. Be sure to keep them close, so you can speak on their behalf if the cultists ask too many questions. Prepare to push on. Steal yourself. Ooh, a little Moonrise Towers campsite. That's pretty cool. Favorite traveling companion. Are you really going to trust that devil to keep his word if we kill this Orthon? I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. I think that's a mistake in the dialogue. We're not supposed to know that it's an Orthon yet, unless I missed that. I like him too, but I'd never say it to his smarmy face. Perhaps if we kill this Orthon extra bloody, he'll invite us for tea and brandy back in his house. I can't believe you hid those scars from me, bro. <laughs> you never asked me to take my shirt off. <sighs> nice. I always thought they were a sign of my... True. Humiliation. I never realized there might be more to them. But Raphael told us... He can make the impossible come true. I have to try my luck. Yeah, they're actually Darren. I don't know if you played early access, but there was a time in early access where we didn't have the mini camps. Wherever you rested, you ended up back at the river camp. It's disgusting. Kazador did this to you. That's kind of out of character, but I'm going to say it anyways. I used to just be sickened, thinking it was his sadistic pleasure. But there's more. There was method to it. The depravity of the act was a distraction. I have to get to the truth of it. You know, I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. You're damn straight it is. You and I, uh, we share something special, I think. I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. You guys want to watch me spit a little game here? Pull out your notepads. Admit it. You've never had a relationship quite like this one, have you? Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. Okay, fair enough. I want to talk about all that's happened to us, though. Fine. What's on your mind? You must have thought about our little stowaways, babe. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think we should go to Moonrise Towers. From what Minthara said, that sounds like where we'll find answers. If we're truly desperate, we can try to convince that goblin gut in assisting us. And how am I holding up in your estimations? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. 
You and I have shared some good times together. And it seems we have plenty in common. Oh, yeah. Considering all we've been through. I think I was very lucky to find such favorable company. And attractive company, too, uh, no less. I know. I know. I told you guys. I know. Almost too easy. You wish to consult me? Yeah, I, uh, I worship the absolute, so gut should still be alive. The Dragonborn face animations are better than any other of the other races face animations. I agree. Like the Wood Elf face animations are kind of wacky. They're kind of weird. Like the characters like... <laughs> the Dragonborn ones are really well done. All right. We need to go to Moonrise. Starfield for me, since I'm generous, is 7 out of 10. Quite frankly, more on the 6 out of 10. All right. Well, um, I think I'm getting kind of hungry right now, so I'm going to go eat some food. This was a crazy session. That was one of my favorite encounters right there, probably of all time. It's because it made me really think and try to get through it. But next session, we will push into the... I was going to say Saluna Temple. The Shar Temple. And do the Gauntlet of Shar and confront the Night Song. And then it's going to be Moonrise Towers time. And then before you know it, we will be in the outer city district of Rivington. So thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. Might hop on over to Starfield one of the nights of this week. I'm not sure yet. But other than that, I'll probably be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Lily, it was great having you here. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, thank you. Hex, have a good night. Maybrar, thanks again for the $100 super chat. Congrats on your BG3 playthrough. It's like a bittersweet feeling when you know you're getting to the end in this game. I won't talk about endgame spoilers, but you know it's coming and you almost just don't want to do it because <laughs> your first time experience will never be able to be replicated ever again. Also, thank you, Hemlock. Leda, thank you for the double donation. I appreciate you. Shy Violet, thanks for the $2 waterfall donation, even though we didn't go to the waterfall. Hemlock, thanks for the five. And I'll catch you all on the next one. See you, press. We're done with that song. Back to our favorite song. Start a new playthrough before finishing. See ya, Cassie.